Hi everybody. Today we're going to look at perimeter. Now the perimeter is the length around a shape and every shape except for a circle because the length around the circle is called a circumference. So let's look at a shape and in this shape if you can see this it's, it shows that it's a rectangle and what it shows also is the length from here, whoops, all the way to the end, to there. This length of this side is 10 centimeters. The length of this side from here to here is 9. This is also 10 and this is 9. So if you added these all up, if you wanted to find the total length, then you would travel all around and then you would find out how long it was to travel all around. That's the perimeter. So you've got 10 to begin with. So the perimeter, I'm going to write the word perimeter here. Perimeter for this orange rectangle is equal to, and I've got 10 centimeters. If I start here, X marks the spot to start. And then I'm going to travel along here, and I'm going to have 10 and that centimeters is important. You also indicate it's not 10 miles or 10 kilometers. That'd be way too long. This is 10 centimeters. And then you've got nine centimeters down there. So we keep traveling the same direction around. So plus nine centimeters. So we've come here, here. Then you've got a 10 centimeters and then a nine centimeters. So let's write plus 10 centimeters plus nine centimeters. Ah, now all you have to do is add it all up. So let's see if you can add this up. Now there's an easy way to add this up, at least one I like to do. I like to add up the 10 plus the 10. So I will get 20 centimeters. And then I will add up the 9 plus the 9. And that will give me, whoops, 9 plus 9 is 18. So 18 centimeters. So 18 centimeters by 20 plus 20 centimeters is 38 centimeters. So the length all around here is 38 centimeters and that's called the perimeter. Now for these other shapes, it's kind of different because what you've got is this one is going to be a square. So let's pretend that this square was five centimeters. One side was five centimeters. If it's a square, then that means all the sides are equal. So I can go like this with the hash marks or the hatch marks. And that would mean then that this is five, that's five, and that's five. Hmm, I bet you could quickly add this up. So you could say the perimeter is equal to five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now, let's put that CM in there for the centimeters. Now, what you have is five, 10, 15, 20. 20 centimeters, and I just put a P for perimeter so you would know that, okay? All right, let's go to the next one. This one looks really different, but all you have to do again is measure this and go around and don't forget which ones you've added. And that's all you'd have to do. And the same with this. Start with an X so you know where you started and then count around. Look at this. These are all the same lengths and there are one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a hexagon, six sides, all the same length. So if each one was two centimeters, then you would add two centimeters to itself six times because there are six sides, okay? So there are six sides, so you do it six times for each side. And then this one, it looks like they're all different, so you just have to add them all up. And this one's a fun one. I like this one because you have to add this and then 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 this, and you get the full perimeter. So again, remember the perimeter is the length around the outside of the shape. And uh, the shape's name is something different. And the perimeter doesn't matter what the shape is. It, it's called, like the length around it is the perimeter except for a circle. And a circle has a circumference, that's the length around it. Okay, have fun measuring these and see if you can get them all correct.